at Smiley, we do uh, stick fairly true to the um, the FDA recommended uh, reconstitution of 2.5 mLs per 100 unit vial. I personally, I do use one to one in a lot of my clients. I think I might be the only Smiley injector. I especially like to use it on my elderly clients. Um, anyone that has like hooded eyelids, I like to use it in their glabellar complex. So can I work without it? Yes, absolutely. But there are times that I really like it. So um, if Mary watches this, she's never seen the madness that is Mercedes injecting herself. I have a very specific way that I, or not even myself, but just anyone, I have a very specific pattern that I inject Botox in. Um, not like because it, I feel like it needs to happen that way, but because I need to know where I've gone. And like when you're deep telling me about, you know, what your mother-in-law did, um, most recently, and I'm really into the story and I inject you and you didn't bleed and you don't have a bleb. I'm like, Oh my gosh, where did I go? Um, so I, I hate that feeling it's happened before. And so I created a method so that it never happens. I do treat, um, I do 64 units total for my, uh, on label areas. I find that that dosing works really good for me. And so the way that I start, I do, um, so, you know, because we're doing a 2.5 ml reconstitution every five on the insulin syringe is two units of Botox. So I say two, four, six, eight, you must hallucinate. So this is, thank you. This is, um, Instead of 5, 10, 15, 20, this is 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is 8 units. So I start with um, my 8 unit one first, and I do my frontalis, and I work left to right because we read from left to right. Your 8 just makes sense. Um, my face is clean. I'm not wearing gloves because don't get me on that soapbox, but gloves are for the protection of the injector, not the patient, unless they're sterile, of course, but I, we were just not going to go there today. So um, I typically inject... I like it's different now because I'm doing my own face and I'm just, I don't really care, but, um, I typically clean to the left of my dot and I inject to the left of my dot because if I erase my dot too soon, then I'll forget exactly where I wanted to go. And I do a lot of testing to make sure like that's the exact placement that I want. Um, however, on my own forehead, like I'm just a little less particular and there was something else I was going to say. Um, oh, so sometimes I, I dot a little off slightly because I'm, I'm compensating for the fact that I'm going to clean and inject to the left, if that makes sense. So, um, but just kind of, you're, you're not really going to see that here because that's not what I'm doing. But, um, so really this is a schmedium depth, right? And the angle, I don't know, I mean 45, but like all that matters honestly is that you're not just going in and hitting periosteum. And... Oh, wow, my suction cup is coming in dead. <laughs> Lost a little bit of there. Okay, so, um, and as you know, I have a, <clears throat> a client waiting for me out there, so I will get to greet her like this. And thank goodness she's one of, like, my most original clients ever, and um, she does social media, and she's actually, um, filmed me injecting myself before so she's totally used to it uh so same here this is schmedium depth right and um put a little extra in there i mean i think i did accidentally um six units it'll be all right you know what i mean so i'll, I'll do like two here instead It'll even out, it'd be fine. And then I'll do four here. It is funny, there are things like on your own face that you're like, eh, it'll be fine, it'll work out. Uh, the Botox will figure itself out, it'll get where it needs to be. All right, so there's that. And then I do the, oh, and so I didn't like explain it. So I did my eight unit one here. Then I did my 12 unit one here, which of course equals 20 units. Um, so I do the opposite for my glabellar complex. I start with my 12 uniter. I do my Proceris first. And this is 90 degrees, nice and deep. This is difficult to do to yourself like this. I mean, I always do my own Botox, but Maybe it's the filming, I'm not sure. Um, and like I was saying about this, this is, I support the brow, this is deep, but not periosteum. 
another four units. I don't like have anything scientific to say, oh, you have to do this, but I do hold just for a second because as you inject this uh, location, you can feel the Botox like kind of like, um, I don't want to say like ball up, but like you can just feel the pressure of the Botox there. So I just kind of hold it to keep it where I want it. And then, um, don't let me get out of my pattern. And then I do this one here, another four units deep, not down to periosteum. And um, then I do my corrugator tails with my eight unit that's left. So these are like a TB skin test, you guys, nice and superficial. If it's not a tad uncomfortable, you're not doing it right. It should blanch just a little bit, you know. Uh, and they should feel that pressure. And if you notice, my tail injections are actually a little different from one side to the next. Um, and that's okay, right? That's my anatomy. That's what I felt when I palpated. So there we go. Um, and then crow's feet. You know what? They really suck. I'm just going to be honest. Um, they ain't the funnest to do, okay? Especially on yourself. So here is going to be four units. This is like a TV skin test, guys. Again, we talked about how superficial that muscle is. We want this so superficial. Right, I want to pull this skin just as taut as like if I'm putting an IV in an 80 year old, okay? Because why? It hurts a whole lot less. And look, I'm about to break the rules, you guys. I'm about to inject towards my face. I'm not, I mean, towards my eye. I ain't gonna sneeze, okay? Um, and I'm gonna come out a little further, but I just can't do away from my eye in this location of course on a, a, a like a client obviously it's a no-brainer but when you're doing yourself it's just a little difficult so pulling taut i am working to miss these veins if i can i've never bru bruised myself knock on wood but you know we all have little veins that run around and you can totally it's like the easiest place to bruise somebody um and again, pulling taut. So, oh, this one I can kind of do away from the eye. All right, so I hope that this was um, not just entertaining, but also informational. If you do have any questions about the way I do my Botox or the reasoning behind it, uh, please feel free to reach out. I'm pretty nerdy, watch lots of uh, webinars, um, Sebastian Codafana, like, you know, I have reasons for why I do things that, um, sometimes you're just like, want to know. So feel free to reach out and, um, yeah, have a great day.